Good evening. I'm Sean Dahl, and I'm the Space Weather Prediction Service Coordinator here in Boulder, Colorado. Well, we've had activity tonight. A lot of geomagnetic storm activity. A geomagnetic storm is a, a significant geomagnetic disturbance, basically a magnetic storm. And what happens when those occur is we can see things like the northern lights spin up from time to time. But the main focus is what these can do for impacts. But before I get into that, let's talk about what's actually going on right now. We have already had two of three anticip anticipated coronal mass ejections arrive here at Earth. A coronal mass ejection, or CME for short, is a blast of solar material, uh, charged particles, and a very strong localized magnetic field that stretches out into space from the sun. As I said, two of these have already arrived and they packed quite a punch. We've already reached G4 severe level conditions due to those CME arrivals. We still don't believe that the third CME has arrived yet. We're looking for that midday on the 12th of November, so Wednesday, somewhere around noonish time frame, give or take Eastern time. Could be earlier, could be later. But we don't think that that's arrived yet. But this batch of CMEs that did come in, these two, were profoundly more stronger than we anticipated. We did have a G2 to G3 level watch out, and we've already reached G4 levels. We do have a G4 watch out for the 12th of November, and that activity is already happening with these first CMEs. So what are we still looking for? That a third of, a third of the three CMEs to come in, and that was the most energetic and strongest of this activity out there in space. It was traveling significantly faster than these other two, and we think that's going to uh, pack even a stronger punch than what we've already experienced. So into the overnight hours tonight, we do expect G anywhere from G1 through G4 levels to continue. These types of storms can be very variable. There's a lot of dynamics that go on with them, and Essentially, we have to have the magnetic field of the CME that's passing over Earth be opposite Earth's magnetic field. That's been happening so far this evening, but it can easily turn the other direction and help activity come back down. It can be this way throughout the night, and even with the next CME, we don't know what to anticipate until it arrives at these critical solar wind observatories that we have one million miles from Earth. You may have heard of SWIFL L1, the Space Weather Follow-On Mission. That's one that's currently en route to replace these old solar wind spacecraft. But what we have out there now has been doing a good enough job to help us figure out what's gonna happen here at Earth. So impacts wise, if you use precision GPS systems, there could be degradation on that. If you need to be accurate in less than an inch, it could be off by much more than that as this type of activity continues. We've been communicating with space launch officials because of a pending launch coming up. That may not happen because of this activity, but that will be for the decision makers to make. We've been talking to some state watch centers, FEMA, even the highest levels of our government at the White House to inform them about this type of activity because these can impact the electric power grid of our country, the bulk electric system. We notify even well in advance today to the power grid of North America about this pending activity, and it did indeed arrive and already materialized to the levels we were looking for. I have fellow forecasters in here tonight that are also busy handling the situation, so we are very adequately staffed here this evening handling this type of activity. So continue to look for types of posts tonight for our through our digital communication systems. We'll do another one of these types of recorded updates if it's necessary, but know, know this as a bottom line, CME's already passing over Earth. We still anticipate that third and potentially strongest CME yet to come. Thank you very much, and remember to always check in with spaceweather.gov we're the nation's official source for space weather information, warnings and alerts, and forecasts right here at the Space Weather Prediction Center. Thank you.